Did they come back today? I hope so. I think they did, but we don't know unless you like and uh, comment and share. Right. Hey, we're out on the deck. We love it out here. Yes. We're on the Proverbs 31 woman. Right. And uh, I brought one of your flowers over as my prop today that's right. purple. What in the world is that? That's a lavender. Lavender looks purple to me. Well, that's a shame. Anyway, this is beautiful. I hope you enjoy our time out on the deck. This is our happy place, and we're titling this series. And I like this title. If Mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, you guys read this and act it out in your life, and she will be happy. Today we're on verse 21. We're going to get to Scarlet. I've been wanting to hit that for three days. Hey, the wind is really blowing out here. If it messes her hair up and she looks back over this video, she's going to shoot me. But it's okay. You look good either way. Now, uh, but first I gotta, I gotta look back at verse 20 for just a second. She extends her hands to the poor, yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. King James says, yea, she reaches out her hands to the needy. Now I looked that up in the, in the Hebrew today, I didn't see a specific article that says yes there, but I like the way King James and New King James reads that, because it says yes. Uh, you've heard of a yes man. I like to hear people say yes. All the promises of God are yes and amen. So when I was growing up, it was no, 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 no. Well, that's probably not true. Mom, if you're watching, we love you. Uh, but what about that? A woman uh, that can say, reaches out her hands and says yes. Right. She doesn't say no to everybody. No, she extends her hands to the poor. Yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. It's assumed that, yes, she's going to do that, certainly. It's assumed. Reaches, That's not fair for that to be assumed. Well, it's probably not fair for it to be assumed, but if she's extending her hand to the poor, she's taking care of her household. We're talking about a Proverbs 31 woman, and so she's. you're going to assume that she's going to do that also. But it, but I think, yes, she, she reaches out. She does it willingly. Certainly. It's a sacrifice. Yeah, certainly. She are there women out hands. there that have a no mentality? Uh, there are. I've seen it in churches. Right, right. Right, and it, it's a if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy on the front pew. That that's right, <laughs> and it, it's a maturing process and coming to know who we are in Christ that gives us the freedom within and and the want to to do these things. Okay, I'll read yes. verse twenty one. She yes. is not afraid of snow for her household, right. for all her household is clothed with scarlet. There it is again. Right. A household. I'm glad you hold it together. You know, a lot of homes. If mom didn't do everything in her power to try to make things uh, uh, stick together. It would fall apart instantly. She's there's so many different personality types in the home. She is a house. It is a household. She is a householder. And if Mama doesn't hold it together, it may fracture. Now here we are. All her okay. household is clothed with scarlet. Wow. Now first of all, let's talk about that just on physical clothing. Uh, they're not. She the, the kids. The kids today all have holes in their pants. Right. That's part of it. Get out right. of here, B. Don't mess up our show. Uh, but hers are clothed in scarlet. What does mm -hmm. that mean to you? Physically. I'm not looking at spiritual right. truths yet. Okay. Well, just clothed in scarlet, I, I think that their clothes are clean and um, that they, they fit them, um, that they're, you know, uh, pressed or ironed, um, you know, that, that they're, they're clothed in scarlet. They look Good. Scarlet would be something of great wealth. We're looking yeah. at satin, silk. Now we're not, right. this isn't talking about blue jeans versus silk. It's right. talking about the mentality right. of a wife who wants her kids. Uh, she called Solomon earlier in that chapter, uh, you're a king, you're right. a king. It's not right. for kings to run with women and drink wine, said earlier. Well, it's not also not for kings to be sloppily dressed right. if mom can do something to make it better. But notice this, dressed with scarlet. Now when I think of that, and I loved getting to this because I want to say the blood of Jesus. All her household are clothed with scarlet. She has wrapped them up in the blood of Jesus. You know, there's one thing that the devil cannot cross, and that is the bloodline. Uh, Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. We read about the woman of Thyatira. She sold purple, and uh, that's king's clothing. And uh, when she accepted the Lord, it said all of her house was baptized. If mom will, now listen, dads need to lead the way, but there's a lot of homes that dads are missing in action. Amen. And, uh, but a mom steps up to the plate and says, I don't know about anybody else, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's a father's responsibility to do that. But if he doesn't, a mom can take 
the commitment and the covenant with God, I'm not leaving this thing and going to heaven without my kids and Amen. grandkids. Amen. So how do you clothe them with right. scarlet? Well, to clothe them with scarlet um, is to plead the blood of Jesus over them. Um, you know, when they go to bed, when they wake up, when they leave the house, um, you know, just plead the blood of Jesus over them. They're clothed with scarlet. They're clothed with the blood of Jesus because of the. So, mom's, mom's standing at the door at the at the curbside, yeah. watching the child get on the bus. What's right. going through her mind at that point? Right, she's uh, you know wanting him to get to school safely and coming home safely, and so she's pleading the blood of Jesus over that child for that day. Yes. Praise the Lord. I want you yes. to look up Job one and verse five before okay. we wrap up this 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 uh, particular message, okay. but it's beautiful. Uh, you know, I think about that Joshua twenty four and fifteen. As for me and my house, you know, a lot of great things happened in the book of Joshua. Joshua made the the river divide. Joshua called the walls of Jericho to fall. Joshua said, "Sun stand still and stood still in its track for uh, a whole day." Those are big things. But the biggest thing that Joshua ever did is when he gathered his, gathered his children and grandkids around and said, I don't know about you, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's greater than building skyscrapers. That's greater than building Trump Tower. That's greater than having a million dollars in stocks and bonds. Is to say, my kids are going to heaven with me. And that's the main thing. Look at Job after his, his children were having a big party at the eldest son's house. Okay, is this verse, verse five? five? So it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would send and sanctify them. And he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did Job, Job I'm sorry, <laughs> thus <know> Job <laughs> did regularly. He did this regularly. <laughs> yes. He was pleading the blood of Jesus. Right. Now that was before Jesus ever came. We're looking back in retrospect. Right. He was laying down burnt offerings. He was applying the blood literally. Right. And if Job did that as a as a man, a dad, yes. and we read of the Proverbs woman, she does it as a right. woman, all her kids are clothed with scarlet, right. then in this day and age, it's important for you to have a prayer time, uh, yes. go through the whole list of names of your children, right. and uh, plead the blood of Jesus over them, send the angels of God with them, ask yes. the Lord to bless and prosper yes. and keep them safe. And I believe that God answers that kind of prayer. Yes, Thanks will. for being with us today. Yes. Anything to add? Amen. Uh, just uh, stay close to God. Uh, keep that word in front of you and plead the blood of Jesus. And scarlet will cover your kids. We'll yes, see you tomorrow. Will.